Hi, I'm Sergio, and today I'm going to share with you a popular Spanish piece called Rumba Flamenca. <music> Before we start, be sure to go to my website at this link to download the sheet music and some of the notes. First of all, we're going to play through the entire piece, the entire arrangement with the play long track underneath. So let's have a look at the start, the first section, which is where I'm playing just the melody with some open string arpeggios underneath. The melody you might recognize is the melody which has been adapted from the Spanish romance or Spanish ballad. And I actually have done a video on this, so you can search for that on my channel. So this version is done in a, in a rumba forms. So I'm going to be playing that melody mainly on the third and fourth strings with a thumb. So let's just go through that first and um, I'll just explain to you my, how I'm playing it. notice that I've got this 3-3-2 uh, three, three, rhythm and in your in your head you want to be thinking 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 1 2 3 1 2 3 da, 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 so that would be the first thing I'd be working on is getting that rhythm uh, of the melody nice and tight the other thing is that there's a little bit of movement between this part of the guitar and that part of the guitar so try and minimize that by only Doing really, we only do three shifts. We start in the seventh position, and then instead of just working my way along with one finger, then I move to I move to the second position using my four, three, one. Okay, so. And now I'm on the third string, sliding back up to the seventh position go back to the second position okay and then we have to shift up two frets all right and then back and staying there in the second second position so you do need to accentuate the thumb part the melody part and you can see I'm kind of using a rest stroke there and of course with flamenco playing you can play a little bit more aggressively uh, rather than say in a classical Spanish fashion which would be a little more refined so by all means kind of give it a bit of a swing to give it that kind of rough kind of more of a dirty flamenco sound so for the uh, the other notes that I'm playing between uh, it's just open strings so with the index finger I'm playing the second string with the middle finger I'm playing the first string so and that creates your eight notes. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and then the next bar starts again. So forth. 
So we go all the way through that first section like that. You should be able to get relatively quick at that because uh, it's all kind of open strings. <laughs> You'll only be limited by the the movement, um, the changing positions. Once you get that really smooth and flowing, then then you shouldn't have any problems with that section. Now, towards the end of that section, I bring in a B in the bass. Okay, so I'm just going to add that B by playing that with the thumb, both strings with the thumb, and then we finish it off with a three triplets. Okay, so I'm playing that with an upwards thumb, down middle, down thumb, upwards thumb, down middle, down thumb. And you know, you can practice it with, with just a muting. And that could take a little while if you're not used to that type of strumming, that type of rasguedo strumming. It could take a little while to sort of get really confident and fluid with it. And, and to be honest, mine isn't always that good. Uh, but you get you get better at it. So the next section, I move into this melody, which goes. And then. So that's, that's the part that you really need to bring out. Uh, everything else is sort of supporting that. The bass part is uh, is also providing that rumba feel, because uh, but I'm not always playing the third bass note. So I'm going to be going. to the next section so that can also be quite strong uh, and then again the middle notes are, will be filled in with uh, with the I and M fingers let's give that a try nice and slowly okay so that's the first four bars of that next section and then we move to with the bass, with the thumb. Okay, we're gonna do that twice. You can, when you do the repeat, you can just keep on doing the rumba underneath. So, and that's the repeat. Uh, I should mention that I play the F sharp with the second finger and the G with the fourth finger so that I can get to the bass note with the third finger. I also encourage you just to do little bits like that. So just to practice those two bars. And it is a, it's, it's an advanced piece. There's some advanced techniques in this. Uh, and the reason why it sounds so cool, uh, in my opinion, is because we're playing melody with the bass and some accompaniment. So those three aspects really fill it in and make it sound kind of quite magical. And that's... That's why I love playing this finger style Latin music. But you've got to keep the dance going. You've got to keep it in time. So do it as slow as you need to do it in order to keep it in time. So let's just finish off with that uh, bass part here. So yeah, bring out the melody in the bass. So those other notes, those accompanying notes can just be light. Okay, now we're getting to the third section, which we have an E7 chord here, which kind of takes you into a little bit of a circle of fifths. So we're going we're to strum an E7 and some arpeggio figures back to the seventh position. Little melody uh, in seventh position, and then we move to fifth position. Okay, so that's again, you don't have to really do anything with the left hand there. It's all right hand, uh, right hand arpeggios. But I have put in the next bar a little descending bass part. So again, I'm gonna play both those notes with both those strings, fourth and fifth strings with the, with the thumb. Okay, so we're going. So that's our A minor. So we've got E7, A minor with some open strings. Now there'll be a few open bass strings ringing, so just be a little bit careful with that. If you can stop that sound, it'll help 
make it make the music sound a bit clearer. And if you're not used to playing a melody with bass and accompaniment, you probably won't be thinking about the open strings. But once you've kind of nutted out the fingering and you can basically play through it, start thinking about what are these open open bass notes. So because we're going. there's a lot of open bass resonance. So we want to stop that before we get to the D7 chord, which is the next bar. Okay, that's a D7 arpeggio, and again, a D7 in fifth position, and then a, a G chord. So that's a little bit of a stretch. Some of you might find that difficult because it's third fret to seventh fret. But it's not for long. And if you're going to take a finger off, you want to take the ba bass note off because you want to keep that top melody ringing. And then we've got um, a series of seventh chords. Okay, so it's like a little triangle shape, picking B7, but we move that to the fourth position, which is a D7, C sharp seven, C7, B7. So we're going to go. B7 I turn it into triplet figures and then we've got a bass, a uh, little bass run followed by the triplets. Okay so I'm just going to play through that once more from the start of that section. So we're going to go sorry the bass notes okay final sec oh, sorry second last section uh, we've got this little descending Spanish cadence and I talked about the Spanish cadence in my previous video and in this case we're doing a slightly different one like the last video we went so you could you could also add this bit. Uh, it's just that with the with uh, with the solo version, and we don't have accompaniment here. I've just elected to do more of an arpeggio pattern. So it's going to look like this. And of course, I'm playing that with the E in the bass, and then we move to the fifth position. So really, it's just a D chord with a, a little pull off from seven to five. And then the C uh, so the C version, which is going to move down here, we need to play the bass. Yeah, so we're going to go, and then we do it the same thing in uh, the B7. So you can sort of hear a seven, nine, seven, seven, five, five, three, three, two. Everything else is just arpeggio. And then I've decided to finish it off with. Um, the chords of the Spanish cadence, E minor, D, C, B, uh, in, in this position here. So we're going to start off with an E minor, but we're playing like a full E minor, so we can do a big full strum. So that that's that's a big um, rumba strumming. Again, I've made some videos about rumba strumming, but so I uh, would encourage you to look at those. I will put some uh, fingering, right hand fingering, so you can, if you're, if you're new to rumba strumming, you'll, you could sort of work it out from the music. So we've got an E minor, a D, and then a C7 with a G bass, and a B7 with an F sharp bass. finish with the uh, the bass run. Um, you can move those sections around, you can repeat sections. The main thing is that you stay in time throughout. I've set the tempo at 180 which is quite fast but that should be like a, a tempo you want to eventually reach but I can fa be fairly certain that um, many of you will need to do it really slow and it could be that some sections are faster than others uh, so practice those sections separately it could be one of those pieces that takes time to put all put it all together um, and you might just perform it or practice it the sections that you're comfortable with uh, and I'm fairly certain that second section 
uh, is going to be the trickiest. I can just I just know that because it's fiddly. And there's a lot of moving around and thinking about more than one thing. If you have any questions about the detail of this piece, please leave a comment and let me know what you think of this arrangement and if you'd like to hear more arrangements like this. If you like this channel, please subscribe and join my Latin guitar journey. I'll see you next time. Thank you.